For these children, the role of parents is very crucial. I happened to detect this loss of hearing right when he was eight months, one year old. You know, his uh, mother was working for uh, Andhra Bank. It was a shift branch. I used to take him out in the evening to meet her at the bank. And on the road, I used to observe that he was not responding, he was not getting frightened, getting affected by the huge uh, bus sirens, that air pressure horns of the bus, lorries, etc. So there started the uh, doubt. I started doubting that uh, this boy is unable to listen. Then, you know, uh, I spoke to her. I told her, look, this boy appears to be something like that. But then, and uh, ours was a joint family at that time. So I told my mom and my dad. Then they said, yes, uh, a near child, uh, if he is unable to speak and if he is not responding, don't bother about it. But anyway, you know, my, I was having my own doubts. Against thy wishes, thou grow and get old. Life flows on its own. To live it, be bold. Depending on the severity of hearing impairment, the acquisition of speech and language of the children are affected. About 3% of India's population is hearing impaired. In our country, it is estimated that one among a thousand parents consults the doctor about their child's loss of hearing. This is a case of a congenital deafness uh, because she doesn't have any other uh, uh, problem like uh, infection or injury or anything of that sort. And uh, it is noted uh, right from fifth month onwards itself. This fits into like uh, delayed milestones. She was telling that uh, it was around two years uh, by the time a child could hold her neck and also t turn in the bed and so on. Uh, definitely it has uh, a role uh, for her hearing handicap also. In acquired conditions, mostly adenoid enlargement or uh, recurrent tonsillitis uh, or a sa sepsis in the nose uh, may be the uh, source of infection for the ear. So to rule out uh, uh, any infection in those zones, we look at it actually. It is never too late to consult a doctor in case of hearing impairment. Detection of hearing loss at an early is very important for the proper rehabilitation of the hearing impaired population. Any parent normally will come with a complaint of child is not able to respond or is not able to speak. So for these children immediately we will do first the behavioral observation by using our different autological techniques. Then we will do the impedance uh, audiometry to rule out the middle ear condition. And then as the children is not cooperative, we will try to do the conditioning audiometry or if the child is still not able to do for the conditioning audiometry, we will go for the more objective and sophisticated equipment like brainstem neurocode response audiometry that is BERA. Uh, and then we will try to analyze the cochlear integrity by using the autoacoustic emission in children. So we will analyze by placing the different statistics which was given automatically by the instrument. By saying this, uh, the, here you can see the black uh, shading and the red shading. This red shading is the response from the inner ear or the cochlea of the baby. So after finding the overall correlation and overall statistical analysis of the baby, we found that her cochlea is damaged by, that is by, that because the absence of autoacoustic emission is there, so we can say that this is a absence of uh, the cochlea damage is present. Maximum level, that is at 95 decibels, the child does not show any response. That means she got a confirmed case of uh, severe to profound hearing loss. Once confirmed about the child's loss of hearing, the parents have their own doubts. By giving him a hearing aid, 
can he listen can you fit the next can you fit a suitable hearing aid if you can fit a suitable hearing aid can he listen with the hearing aid as clear as we are able to listen can he speak like us the newer technologies have already addressed these doubts with scientific methods of mainstreaming and inclusive educational methods the possibilities of having normal speech are quite high in many cases with these children the role of parents is very crucial draw the pictures and play cards and show them the real things and uh, you ask him to identify you know, first you should ask him you take the card put near to your mouth and tell him this is plain this is plain this is plain he will see the picture he will see the lip and then the correlation plain and this has some relationship whenever amma says plain he should pick up that card and give to amma he went to school and uh, i took him to one speech therapist there dr suzan uh, within one month he started saying amma bus car flower it was really wonderful the analysis of behavioral patterns of the hearing impaired show interesting aspects there's no absolutely nothing wrong with them you know they are also normal like any other human beings here so we should try to motivate them to interact with their normal counterparts in a normal pattern you know when they mix up with the others what i found was you know they always think that they are unable to understand see if we can counsel these children and their parents also to move in the normal atmosphere or the normal environment in a normal way see basically when you interact with the disabled child what happens is the parents also feel that something is wrong with their child and they also you know they are stigmatized in the society but instead you know if you try to show your child to everyone be open to counseling or open to the avenues which the children have i think definitely they can get better it is very essential to get these children into mainstream and if they are properly groomed they can forge ahead like any other now he is in the engineering engineering third year he has written the examinations uh, he is now going into the fourth year engineering gandam har agrasad hari krishna the vibrations of ignorance can disturb one and all more people that they are to be more people dislike me that the social implications of hearing loss are many folds these children are very sensitive and can learn only one language at a time so we train him in only in english for them there is one problem they cannot learn many languages at a time and at that time only english was available for us in madras there was no chance of uh, teaching him telugu so we thought english is a universal language we taught him only english that small child other day in sita holmandi bus stand asked something in telugu this fellow couldn't understand so he said no that boy went to the other person and he was watching the, the hari was watching that boy and the old the other person he he helped him in crossing the road then this fellow realized that the boy asked him to help him in crossing the road and he came and he said today i felt very bad amma why i asked him why one small boy came and asked me something i could not understand i said no he went to the other person and other person helped him in crossing the road i felt bad if only i knew telugu i could have helped him what the child would think of me 
See there, you and me do not point out a finger and say she or he is a disabled. But when you go into the community, there are so many people saying, oh, these people are good for nothing, they can't speak. That is not the way. We have to actually counsel the community also as a whole. They need too much of exposure. The trends have been changing. So they need to understand they are also one of us. I don't know what I'm French. I'm French. Oh, very good. <laughs> He is very ambitious with regard to his studies. Now, uh, he intends uh, joining IIT Kharagpur for his uh, post-graduation. The time spent on these children can be worth of it. And it is said, if you say nothing in this world is impossible, remember, not one, many hands need to make it possible.